Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. You know, today we're going to talk about smart art. And smart art was introduced in uh, PowerPoint 2007. And I see people starting to use it more and more often, but unfortunately, there's a downside to it. And it's illustrated by today's slide. So, this is a slide that was sent to me for a, a workshop. And they're trying to talk about four key success factors for this organization. And this is one of the smart art uh, objects that you can select. And it's really easy to select them. The problem is that when we're talking about key success factors, we're not really talking about something that then spreads outwards from a center out four directions. It's not what key success factors are about. There are four factors, and those are the ones we have to focus on. It also doesn't let us know anything about what these factors look like in the future for this organization. I would I would challenge that you couldn't even figure out what this organization does when you look at this. So here's the danger of smart art. Uh, the, the downside is that we get this idea that we don't have to think anymore. We, oh, we just pick something off of the smart art list and, and that'll work. Well, when you're creating a persuasive visual, you have to do more. You can't just pick one of the ones that is listed. You have to think about it. So here's how I redid this particular slide and made it more meaningful for the company, which was a company that's in the area of uh, floral. Um, they, they grow and sell flowers. So there's four key success, success factors that we need to, to focus on in the future. First of all, a premium product. We want to be known as the only ones who grow this particular type of rose. It has certain characteristics and it is a desirable product from the customer's perspective. Prompt delivery is really important to our customers as well as to the very select whole um, distributors that we're going to wholesale to. Uh, it's a branded product. And we need to have it quick so that it lasts long in the customer's, the consumer's hand. Customer service is very important. We want to make sure that everybody, when they come into our retail area, they're greeted and we find them exactly what they need. And we are going to be only focused in this area. We are not going to try to do everything as a, as a floral company, not every type of flower. We are going to focus on our premium products. So now seeing this slide, you instantly understand what it is that this particular organization, this company needs to go after because we've used photos that make sense for them, for their type of business, and what those key success factors look like. It's a far more powerful visual than the, you know, those circles with the arrows that we had before that was selected out of SmartArt. So what lessons can we learn from today's makeover? Well, before we get there, just a reminder, more information out of, about the book, go to visualslideRevolution.com. More information about my training workshops, consulting, and other resources, go to thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons today, uh, when we're talking about the potential downside of smart art, first of all, you as the presenter, as the designer, are responsible for selecting the correct visual. Don't abdicate that to the software. I don't believe you can say, well, the software should do everything for me. That, that's not right. You need to take that responsibility. Now. Is there a use for smart art? Yes. I think that sometimes what you can do is look at the smart art that's available to get ideas. Hmm, what might work in this situation? You might see something and that might twig an idea for you so that you can do your own thinking about the visual. Use a lot of different sources to get possible ideas. That smart art list is one of them, but do your own thinking and then my recommendation is create your visuals using the shapes that are in PowerPoint, photos, and uh, other elements that you can put on the slide that create the appropriate visual for what you need. So today's makeover was really about uh, focusing our efforts on what we want to do for our audiences and not saying, well, gee, I can just, I can just throw any visual on there, smart art. I just pick one of them and it'll work. No, it doesn't work that way. That's not what's best for your audience. Use it as potentially a source of ideas, but do your own thinking. Create your visuals yourself, and your slides will be so much more effective. This has been Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.